Hi, I'm at Flux Gallery with Christina Ford at her opening. It's kind of loud, but uh, hopefully you can hear us. And uh, Christina, uh, would you like to talk a little bit about the work you're showing? And uh, we can go from there. You have the floor, so ta-da. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you, Byron. You're um, welcome. These pieces are sand and sea, and they basically, um, I typically do aerials at 5,000 feet, and this particular series is a very intimate group of aerials at a standing level of 5 feet. And I found it fascinating that at 5,000 feet and 5 feet, land looked very similar in erosive processes. And so, I be, as I began to look at satellite imagery, and I began to walk on the beach, I found some of the patterns very similar and sort of a self-similarity, which is where the word fractal slices comes in, which is the title of my show. Um, each of these is sort of a tiny, tiny slice of what I was looking at as light and water and wind and sand met on the shoreline. And uh, the Jacksonville Beach area has been very pivotal in my spiritual recentering. So each of these walks that I would take is sort of important in setting my trajectory in the future. So. So That's it's sort a of the fra of fractal it. geometry. Fractal slices is the, the title of the show. Did you, did you study look into flat fractal geometry at all? Uh, and fra uh, yeah, fractals chaos, are sort of chaos theory. Or? Yeah, and it's it's basically a as you divide geometric shapes, they're evenly divided mathematically, and it's like snowflakes and bound ranges oftentimes are considered fractals. I sort of abstracted from that and consider and, and self similarity being that as you divide it. They're really looking the same as the closer and closer and smaller and smaller it gets. They look identical. And this had to me the similar quality where I was looking at 5,000 feet and looking at 500 feet and they looked very similar to me. And so I began to paint these moments. What what does that uh, mean to you on a spiritual level? What do you what do you get from that? Um, just interested on a spiritual level, is there where where would you take that? Um, um, is there me, a clarity that you get from that? I, I, as best I can do it, because that's a big topic, um, yeah. is um, having a very strong awareness of the moment of now is sort of the most full and um, fulfilled I, I become. And so when I have these sort of meditational walks along the beach, I'm in a redirective process trying to um, reroute some various values in my life and look at things differently. And these are important moments as I sort of celebrate where I am. I, um, I'm in a gratitude spot and look at all the things that have shown to be patterns of wonderful offerings that set me into new trajectories. So it's very decisive, but at the same time, you know, important that I continue to be introspective and sort of recenter myself. And are you working out of Jack's Beach? Is that where your studio is? or? No, I live a little bit west of there in an area um, off of 210, and my studio is in my home. Okay. And I've been painting basically solo for about five years after taking a 12-year break. Um, and so I began by reteaching myself and then moving. I, I typically do aerials. In March, I have an exhibition coming up. Uh, Jacksonville Aerials. Where, where is that going to be located? The, the uh, FCCJ Kent Campus. Okay. And then in April I have an exhibition uh, at the Pond Beach Cultural Center where I'm going to be doing uh, gowns, uh, legacy gowns, which is sort of what a lot of people that know my work have seen me doing aerials and legacy gowns. They're basically mapped gowns. So the aerials rolling onto a personification of a woman's um, decision making. And so these are sort of a strange departure for me, but they're related in sort of a thread of, you know, looking at patterns, trajectories, influences. I'm always interested in decision making and how we go from A to B to C and who influences and what influences those spots. I'm interested in how you get the aerial shots. Are you a pilot or do you know a pilot? Or? I, I, some of them I'll get from air, airplanes and some of them I'll get from satellite imagery. And um, technology's gotten, gotten so superior these days. I'm able to really do a lot and change angles and check in periodically. And, and it's, been, it's been pretty fabulous. But you see it on TV now. I mean, all of a sudden aerial shots from satellites are available with Google Maps and different things like that. So it's becoming more and more a pop image people are uh, familiar with. I've been doing it probably for four years. So are you working with Google Maps for the, some of this imagery? or? Uh, occasionally. I have a couple other ones I use as well. So that some of them are different and the satellites will roll over the earth at different times and um, depending on what I'm doing and if I, for example, I did the Comer and they had a recent um, construction project and I had to wait for a satellite to roll over it to get the right 
um, amount of building materials because, and so I'll have to wait for the timing. So sometimes it's Google and sometimes it's Yahoo and sometimes it's um, another couple of ones that come out of NASA. So uh, the, photo, the show you have at FCCJ is going to be aerial la landscape painting? Aerial landscapes of Jacksonville. Of Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We'll have um, the Starbucks at Riverside Avenue, the Cover Museum, City Hall, uh, Ponte Vedra Inn, Ocean. Oh, okay. okay. So you're pretty busy now, huh? I'm, yes. I'm pretty busy. Great. It's, it's, good, sort of a, yeah. it's good to be busy, right? Well, it's good to paint. Yes, yeah, it's, it's good, good to paint. paint. Okay, awesome. I think that's just a choice whether or not it's uh, So I don't, I'll probably paint, uh, you know, until I can't see or my hands don't move. Great. Well, thank you for thank sharing. You. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Bye. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>